What's up guys? We're back here in San Gabriel. <laughs> We're at this new anime store called Paper Cola. We're about to check it out. Let's go. <laughs> Please uh, excuse that very unprofessional intro, but uh, today we are in San Gabriel and we're going to be going to this new store called Paper Cola. They're a pretty unique store because they carry a lot of stuff that normal anime stores don't, like uh, a bunch of Hollow Life stuff, a bunch of uh, doujin art books. Um, so hopefully we're able to, to find some things. And they have a pretty good uh, wall scroll selection as well and plushie selection, so it should be fun. And you're like right here. So let's get right into it. So this is going to be kind of a short video due to the uh, store being pretty small, but it is honestly one of the best stores that I've ever been to when it comes to rare anime merch and unique anime merch, like I said in the intro. I mean, there's so many things I could say about this store, but let's just start off with the doujin art books that they have. We never see normal stores like Barnes & Noble and stuff, and look at that Review Starlight poster, let's just admire it for a second. Okay, but we never see like regular stores like Barnes & Noble, Kino Kuniya, all that stuff have these doujin art books, and it's one of the biggest draws of the store. And they get these doujins in weekly. They get these doujins in weekly. That is crazy. Um, they're usually some hollow live stuff, um, but I do know that they have some things like Arknights and Azure Lane and other things there, I believe. Um, other anime series as well. They also have these bochi plushes here, which is really cool. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, this store really does separate itself from all the other anime stores that I've been to, um, considering the offerings that they have. Um, st for starters, they have a bunch of Hollow Life stuff, which is, you know, what I'm into. Um, I'm a big fan of Hollow Life, with my favorites being, you know, Suisei, Marin, Hachima, Ollie. You know, I'm a big fan of Hollow Live, and they have like Hollow Live merch here, which is great to see. Um, over here, they had a Gunpla section. They have some Pokemon stuff here that I've never seen before, and it's honestly like just such a fun place to be. Um, they're not extremely busy most of the time, but I do know that it can become busy like during the weekends and stuff and like the owners are super nice or at least the people at the register are super nice who are there it's usually a guy and a girl and you know they're very accommodating and willing to let you see things let you open the doujin art books you know so you can make a a very informed purchase and i'm just like a super big fan of this store which is why i wanted to make a video here it's not sponsored or anything but i just wanted to shine some light because i do think that they deserve a lot more business um over in this section is like a bunch of small grabs that you can get and they have a deal where it's like this amount for 25 dollars as you can see seven for 27 dollars for each thing and then four for 25 um, but as you can see they have a bunch of stuff they have a bunch of shikishi boards here um, i actually forgot to look through these um, by mistake and i definitely should have but <clears throat> moving on uh, like i said they have a bunch of like items that they ship directly from amazon japan i've seen like you know the packaging that it comes in they've had shipments come in while we were there and it was from Amazon Japan, so um, yeah. And this is one of my favorite sections because it has the Suisse, um, it has the Suisse anniversary set. And yes, they are very highly priced with each item being $100, but you know, I guess I get it because uh, the, it's stuff that you can't get anymore. So, you know, they're like collector's items that you can rarely find other than like online on eBay and stuff, so. Uh, I get them pricing it that high. Um, and over here is another Pokemon section. They have booster boxes, they have cards, they have like Magic the Gathering right there as you can see, and then Hollow Life cards over there. I mean, it's just such a great assortment of items. And then over here is the Sanrio section. They have like bags, they have small plushies, they have small figurines that you can like put on your desk and stuff. It's a bunch of cute things um, that if you're a fan of Sanrio, you definitely have to go because they do have a good variety of stuff and it's always rotating depending on like the event that they're having. I'm not sure what this one was, but a lot of the characters were wearing these same outfits. So I'm guessing it was some event going on, um, which is why they, uh, which is why they had so many plushies of those characters. Um, and then over here, you know, more pens, more Sanrio things. Um, 
And yeah, it was just a bunch of cute stuff there. And then over here is like a card captor Sakura section. And I haven't watched it. Uh, my girlfriend has, uh, and she's a fan, so she, you know, really likes the section. But when have you ever seen a card captor Sakura section in a store, you know? Um, over here, they have some figures. I mean, it's like they have it all. They have wall scrolls, they have figures, they have um, Nendroids, as you'll be able to see later on in the video. They have plushies. Um, and then like just a bunch of cool small like collectors things that you otherwise wouldn't find except for places like Book Off and Anime Jungle, at least in LA. Um, so I would highly, highly recommend going here, like I said at the start of the video. But over here is more prize figures, My Hero, uh, ReZero, and then uh, I believe this was some Animal Crossing stuff there. And then this is where all the Fate stuff is. Uh, you can see they have Fate Grand Order things. They had a Saber Shikishi board there. Um, more Fate figures with Archer uh, over there. And then they had some like other stuff like Dark Souls, which, you know, I, I haven't played Dark Souls, so I don't really know what it's about. But uh, I do know a lot of people who do play Dark Souls. Um, and then over here, they have a section just for Spy Family stuff and some more posters on the back. There's like an Anya basket right there and then that Bond plushie over there. Um, some people might come to the store and be turned off by the prices of some of the things like that Bond plushie was, I believe, priced at $70, but I believe it's one of those things that you can only win in crane machines in Japan. So that's probably why they priced it so high. Um, and you, you pretty much wouldn't find it anywhere else but Japan or online. So yeah. Um, yeah, so Spy Family uh, shelf. And then they had a bunch of wall scrolls up there. They even had some Kara no Kyokai or Garden of Sinners ones, which is one of my favorite series. So it was pretty cool to see that. Um, we didn't end up buying um, the the wall scrolls uh unfortunately because i'm a little broke um so we did end up buying some small things though and then over here is just a glass case with like these small tiny figures um pretty cool uh, you can put them on your desk put them on a little shelf and it'll probably look really cool um and yeah i mean it's it's just like one of my favorite places to go to. I, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it in this video, but it's such a great store. I mean, they have a Natsume's Book of Friends section and I was gonna buy that Nyanko Sensei plushie, but I do already have one um, at home. So I decided against it. But yeah, it's like a bunch of unique items. They had like plates, they had small keychains, they had like Natsume gum. Who would buy Natsume gum? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, and they also have some Genshin Impact stuff. For anyone who is a Genshin Impact fan, I do know that there are a lot of Genshin fans, so if you were looking for keychains, um, I believe they had trading cards, they had these, I forgot what they're called, I played Genshin for a little bit, um, but you know, slime, the Genshin slime plushies, and then over here they had the Hololive section, which is, you know, my favorite section. Um, unfortunately they didn't have a lot of Suisei, but they did have some Marin, as you can see they have Noel there, uh, Korone over there. Um, I, I really do wish that they had Suisei merch. Um, I believe they'll be getting some when her anniversary comes out in March, so I'll be looking forward to that, but I'll probably be getting that myself so I don't have to pay, like, you know, aftermarket prices. And then this section right here is just a giant wall scroll section. Um, they have a bunch of, I'm not sure if they're official, I can't 100% say that the wall scrolls are official, but they look official. Um, but it's just... A bunch of wall scrolls from an assortment of series from fate to love live to even like railgun which was crazy the, the railgun poster is crazy um i don't know if you'll see it in here but it, it it's a pretty crazy poster um they had some simfo gear there um this order is a rabbit right there as you can see konosuba they had multiple konosuba posters which you know if you're a fan of it you should definitely check it out um but yeah uh this store again is a hidden gem it's located in san gabriel so if you're in that area the san gabriel valley in california it's near la uh definitely make the drive out it's not that far um because you'll definitely be in for you know a treat and you'll probably end up buying something if you're compulsive like me um but you know what more can i say um such such a unique store and i go here like probably every week or week or two with my girlfriend because it's you know a store that we both enjoy um but yeah if you enjoyed uh the video 
uh, stay till the end because you'll see what I get. Um, and yeah, they also had some of these Ichiban Kuji stuff, which is like the the uh, gacha thing. But yeah, here's the outro. All right, so we came out and we got two small things. Uh, first, we got two Hollow Life packs here. Um, hopefully, I pull something good. Um, but I usually just like pulling singles because um, they're fun to pull. And then we got this little Nyanko Sensei. Uh, if, I, if I can take him out. This little Nyanko Sensei mouse pad thing. He's funny, so I bought him. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate y'all watching the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to go over to Paper Cola over in San Gabriel. Uh, they're a really dope store if you're looking for, you know, some kind of niche things um, that you usually won't find in, like, your regular anime stores. So they're definitely the place to go. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.